Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create a checkbox in the Flutter. We are in section 3 and we are about to create the fourth video of this section in which we are going to create a checkbox. As in the previous tutorial, those who are following, we created a text field in the Flutter. We learned the two types of text fields. We use the text field to get the data using controller and on change method. And once the data has been collected, we pass the data to our details or dot screen. So if you didn't watch the previous video, link is in the description or you can get it from the right top corner. In today's tutorial, we are going to create a checkbox. As you can see on your screen that uh, when the user is going to click on this top product, it has three states, basically a try state. The current state is returning a null value. This state is returning a false and this state will return a true value. And also we will make this checkbox. First we will design it. There are two types of checkboxes, the simple checkbox and checkbox list style. We will see both of them and we will also see pros and cons of both of the checkboxes. And after that using set state we will add interactivity to these checkboxes so these can be clickable. So let's get started, open Android Studio. So we are inside the project we created for our stateful widgets. First of all, sorry about my voice, I'm not feeling well. So in here in the main dot dot, we are simply calling my form. And uh, we talked about that we created a form dot dot and details dot dot in our second video. So head towards the form dot dot. So this is the form dot dot and in here you can see that I have created my own custom widget of uh, about text fields because I am using two text fields here. So instead of repeating the code again and again, so I use the reusability. We already learned how to create custom widgets in our 13th video of section 2. You can get the link also from the description below of the playlist or from the right top corner. So this is a class I have just simply created down below here. It is getting some fields in the constructor and it is just returning our text field as a widget. Let me just close this. Okay, you can see we are inside the list view and uh, we are here about to create the checkbox. Basically, there are two type of checkboxes that we can create in the Flutter. The first one is a simple checkbox and the second one is a checkbox list style. So let's get started with the first one as we are inside the list view. So we don't have to call any child property. The first one is this checkbox. We have to provide a value. Value is either true or false. And then we have a on change method. And on this on change, we will get a value. Either it's selected or not. Uh, if it's true or not. If it's selected, then it will return true in the value variable. And if it's not selected, then it will return false. We will also see about the third state, which is the null state. So it, it can return null as well. So this is simply a variable. You can name it anything you want. Let's add comma. Let's save the code. You can see that our checkbox has been created, but it is currently not clickable. So to make this checkbox clickable, what we can do is we have to create a simple variable. So basically this variable is a private with this underscore. This is a Boolean type. So by default its value is false. Head back to this checkbox we created and assign the value to this checkbox now inside this on change function we know we have to call the set state because the state has been updated and we have to redraw this widget on the screen using stateful widget so again if you knew you can see that we have we are inside the stateful widget class and in here we know we can call set state method and inside the set state we know we have to create a function and this function is going, going to simply update this checkbox value and will assign this value. You can see it is giving an error because the value can be null. So we first have to remove this final property. And in here you can see it saying that bool is a null type. Why it is a null type? Because checkbox has three states. It can either be checked, it can either be not checked or it can be in the null state or the third state. So for that we have to go to this bool, add a question mark here. This make this bool as nullable. So the error has been gone. So for the simplicity, let's just, so we make it as a one liner here. Let's save the code. And you can see that by default our value is unchecked. When I'm going to click on this, it's being checked and unchecked. Press Control Alt L to align our code. Okay, we are inside this checkbox and in here you can see we have active color, check color, fill color, shape and bunch of other properties and the one I was talking about, try state, 
make it true save the code and you can now see that we have three states the one is returning true this one is returning null and this one is returning false so that's why we make our checkbox as nullable next to our checkbox we can add check color colors dot black save the code and you can see that check color has been changed we can also change this active color to colors dot deep purple and change this to white so we can see that clearly save it and you can see that active color has been changed but when we are going to uncheck it you can see the borders are still black so you can play with these properties add a comma here press ctrl alt l to align so this is the checkbox but in here you can see that we cannot or we are not adding any text to this checkbox because there is no option to add any text i don't know why but currently we don't have any label or title property to this checkbox so we cannot create any text or assign any text to this checkbox so for that we have a checkbox list style so to create this checkbox list style we have to call checkbox list style property again it requires a value value can be true false or null so for this we again have to create a unique variable and for its on change method we have to create a function like we did for the checkbox and in here we also get some value if it's selected null or not selected let's save the code and now you can see that when i'm going to click on this you can see that it's uh, the first thing it's clickable the second thing is it's a list style so we can easily see that it's a complete list style with the checkbox currently it's not changing its state because we have to call set state here as well so copy this set state from the top paste it and this time it's not changing the checkbox let's create another one list style checkbox the same with the nullable boolean and by default it's false i'm going to assign this value to list style checkbox and also change it here save the code and this time you can see that we can deal with the both one both are changing states but inside this checkbox list style press ctrl alt l to align this as well next to value we have a title property here it is a widget so we will call text for example it's it is a top product save it and you can see that now it is clickable and its text is saying that it is a top product so this is how we can assign a text but again uh, one more thing that as in the list style we know that uh, this currently the checkbox is being displayed on the trailing icon but what if we want to change it to the leading icon so for that we have a property called control infinity so go for the list style control infinity dot make it leading so this is going to convert this as a leading icon let's save this and you can see that it's being switched to the left side now again it is clickable and it is a complete list style so this is basically a clear difference between the checkbox and checkbox list style uh, but we again have one more problem with the checkbox list style that it is it is currently covering the whole width of the screen so if in case you don't want to use this checkbox list style as well so it is suggested to create your custom widget so i'm going to leave this as an assignment for all of you to create your custom widget using a row with the row you can create this simple checkbox and next to the row you are going to create text widget and you will assign the text to it it will it should not cover the whole screen and i will also create the custom widget and leave a link down below in the description you can get that code from the link down below in the description or on the website tamursegandar.com in the flutter crash course so that's it for this tutorial i hope you learned something new if you learned something new please like the video and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you for watching take care allah office